Hi, I'm going to take a look at the Shell Brewery today. So we're going to go with Katia and I'm going to take a shovel. There are two piles to dig through, one of which is partially already dug. Now, if you want to go into melee combat, um, you need to take a knife or a hatchet and there is a, a box to open. So you either need a crowbar or um, a lockpick. So we're just going to go with that. So when you get to the brewery, you're faced with this situation. There are a bunch of boxes to loot here, but we'll get to that later. So you run up to here, which is the partially dug pile. Now, you've got this woman here and you've got two drunks behind her. So you do have time to manually dig this, or if, of course, or of course, if you have a shovel, you can get through this much faster. In which case, you'll end up going into melee combat with these guys. Now, if you're Boris or Roman, you can generally get away with not being injured or maybe slightly injured. And uh, you'll end up killing one and the other one runs off. Now, I think it's this one drops a bottle of booze. This one has nothing. But if you're not Boris or Roman and you get into melee, then you will end up um, potentially severely injured or even dead. So this is the play if you are, for example, Anton or Sveta and you don't have any combat abilities because you really because you would end up dead if you ended up fighting with these two guys so all you could do is stand here and just watch what goes down which is she gets killed by these two guys or of course if you're Boris or Roman you could dig through this get into a fight and uh, run them off that way now as soon as they're finished they go down here So at which time we can dig through this, and we've got our shovel of course, so it's going to be quite quick. So they're in here, but they can't, well, normally they could hear us if we do stuff like this and uh, come up, but they stay there all night. So there's nothing that we can do to bring them out of there, unless we actually go in and start fighting with them. They're there for the evening. Which means that we are then free to start looting all the other piles around the brewery. So if you come up here. So there's the lockbox that you need to open. And here's the other pile to dig through. And there's a bunch of pretty good stuff. I think this one's empty, but there's food and a few other things in here. So just looking at this one. So the loot table's liable to be different in each run, so it's, you're not guaranteed to get the same as, the, of the, as this, of course. Food and meds. And in this particular run, I think this one has a gun. Yeah, there you go. But anyway, the uh, two guys stay down here and get you all night to loot. And the woman here, um, they were going on at her for stealing, but so if you check her body, she has a bottle of booze on. Which I guess what is what she stole. And this here has a lot of water, which is quite valuable. So there's a lot of good stuff in the brewery. Now um, let's get home and uh, come back and see what happens. All right, so we're going to head back to the Shell Brewery. So I'm not going to take anything just because I just want to show you what we what we find when we get back there after leaving the two guys in that basement. So firstly, um, we had four contents before we went there. Now we didn't save the girl um, and we came back. Katia is still content, but the other three are no longer content. So I'm not sure if that means that we got a morale hit on the other three or not. But anyway, let's go back. So it's not like the construction site, because if you choose not to engage with the soldiers or the snipers, then if you go back, they're no longer there. But this one, they are here. And there's nowhere you can hide, so you end up in a fight. And if you notice in the Shell Brewery, there's nowhere to, there are no hidey holes that you can go, so you can't get away from these guys, they'll just keep chasing you all over the place. So while they stay down here, and you've got an opportunity to loot the place, it means generally that you can't come back, because otherwise you end up in this situation. All right, well, let's get out of here. 
So that's the melee options. If you're Boris or Roman, you can either manually dig through the pile or use a shovel, get into a fight with those two guys and generally get away either slightly injured or not injured at all. And you save the girl. Um, raw bump for everybody or some of the house members. Or if you don't save the girl, then a potentially slight raw hit. If you're not Boris or Roman, then and you get into um, and you choose to dig through the pile and get into a fight with the guys, then um, you're risking serious injury or death. If you just let the guys kill the girl and then uh, let them go down to the basement and loot the place, and then you go back, then you're back into the melee or the fighting option. But there is um, one final way. Um, for example, if you're Anton or Sveta and you're in that run, then you can't really go do anything. You can't get into uh, melee, so you just have to watch them kill the girl, go downstairs, which gives you one op one go at um, looting the entire place. It means you can't go back, but it means you might get a gun there, for example. But there is another option, and if you ha have any guns and bullets, and it doesn't matter which gun, so you can take any one, you only need one bullet for this as well, and it doesn't matter on the character, so Anton or Sveta can do this. So you just run up to the uh, pile, just arm up. As soon as they're in range, just give them one shot and they run off. And that's the end of it. So they won't come back. Uh, they won't be here if you um, come back to the place, for example. Now you can dig through this. And uh, she says, thank you. I owe you my life. So you saved the girl. Now you have a free run of the place and can uh, loot as you choose and then also come back so that's the shop brewery so hope that was useful thanks for watching and see you next time bye